All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up custom indicators, moving average lines, and all that good stuff here in TradingView. This is kind of one of my biggest gripes. I really like TradingView, but when it comes to EMAs and SMAs on charts, they have some weird, wonky way to do it. And this took me such a hard time trying to figure out just adding EMAs and SMAs on charts, it shouldn't be that hard because most platforms, you just type in EMA or exponential moving average, it pulls up and it's no problem. The problem is, is that they have these custom indicators that people can do. So it's nice, like something that's good with uh, TradingView is people can make indicators and custom indicators and add them on uh, to their platform. So that's an awesome thing that they offer. However, with SMAs and EMAs, which is just a basic standard uh, thing to add on to charts if you're using moving average lines, it's very wonky in a weird way they do it. So if anybody's watching this, TradingView, uh, anybody that knows of an easier way, please comment below to make it easier because uh, I, I'm kind of almost dumbfounded making this because it's like it shouldn't be this difficult just for the moving average lines. For everything else, fine. But if you guys know of an easier way to add SMAs and EMAs, please put it in the comment and then I can update the video or make a new one. So you'll see right up over here, here's just a basic chart here and I have these moving average lines on my chart, right? So you'll see I have SMAs and EMAs. And what happens is when you come up over here to indicators, when you click on it, this is where you can type in what you're looking for, right? So you can type in exponential moving average line, right? So you have exponential and then it's like, I favorited this one up over here. So this is the one I'm using, moving average exponential. And then you have some other ones down over here. But what, what I don't like about it is, let me, let me show you here. In moving average exponential, when I come up to EMA, it's got this like, when you go to inputs down over here, this is the thing that just throws me off. It comes by default. It's got this, you know, I can put my nine EMA here and that's not an issue, but then it automatically has this like smoothing line and you can change it down here. And I'm like, I don't ever use a smoothing line, right? To be honest with you, I don't even know what the heck the smoothing line is. I just have my nine EMA on a chart, but I don't know if, if anybody else knows of something of an EMA that allows you to just not have this thing set up I gotta figure out how I turned it off. Oh, I turned it off right over here. So it just automatically puts it on by default. So you see it's another line on my chart and I'm like, I don't want that on my chart. I just want the nine EMA. So I had to turn off smoothing line. So that's the thing of like, it's this weird way. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I just want the EMA. I don't want this smoothing line, something else added. And then you'll see right over here. So I turned it off right over there. So that's like, that's for EMA. And then SMA, it's also not like for a simple moving average line. So if I type in simple moving average, you'll see there's just, I mean, there's a lot of different strategies, but you'll see right here, simple moving averages. So this is the one that I have favorited. But when you click on it, it's got, or is it right up over here? It's got a whole bunch of different ones. So it's nice that it allows you several. And then I can turn it on so you can click up here. And, you know, when I go to the inputs, it's just a lot. You see what I'm saying? It's nice to have this ability. But if I just want one or two, I just don't want all of this. I don't know why it's just so wonky. You can see I just get frustrated with it because I don't know. Whoever's watching this, if TradingView could just see this, just for simple things like simple moving average lines, exponential moving average lines, just make it easy. That's a standard something done by you guys. EMA, keep it simple, no smoothing average line, change it. Not like when I'm at adding simple moving average lines, I don't want to go through this whole entire process. It's just a lot. Maybe for someone watching this, it's not a big deal. I just want one or two and just, you know what I mean? Just kind of keep it simple. Whereas you can see like just with, um, you know, if I go to my e-signal, you know, I'll pull up an e-signal chart right over here. Or just any platform, Thinkorswim, other kind of charting platforms, you can just go and uh, add it on 
just like it's nothing. You'll see eSignal's taking a second here to load. Let me just X out of it. But you'll see I have right over here, kind of on my charts, I just have my exponential moving average line, right? So it's just one plot just like this, right? Change the color. This is, this is just standard on every other platform. So I don't know why I can't just add one on and keep it simple. So that's my frustration with it. You'll see, I, I love it. Their charts are great. I just wish that you could make it kind of simpler, but that's kind of my rant. You just come up here to indicators. You type whatever indicator you want. You'll see I have view app right over here. Uh, so you just kind of type in right here. You'll see what is offered you know, by them. So I believe the technicals is what trading view uh, creates. And then there's community scripts, right? So community scripts, that's great if you're looking for something just you know done by a community, but it's just like, why am I, for something like VWAP, exponential moving average, right? Simple moving average, right? That should just be something by default by trading view. So I don't know, like even this, I haven't even looked, oh, that's probably just someone's name. I don't know why a community member is making just a view app, right? Custom ones, totally understandable, but just your typical like things like EMAs, SMAs, view app should just be done by trading view. That's my rant. I don't, I just, I don't like the way you do indicators within trading view. It frustrates me. It took me a while to learn how to do this and get this place. But at least just for the simple ones, it should be easier. That's my rant. You can tell my frustration. <laughs> so if anybody has some easier ways to do this stuff, I actually like as I'm making this, I had to like, I'm like retraining myself uh, how I did it. I don't even know how I found this because I went, it took me so long to go through SMAs and EMAs. And you can see how it's wonky and it's not simple, right? It should just be add one, add one. So if anybody has an easier way, please let me know. Trading view, if you're watching this and you can make it easier, it'd be very appreciative for everybody.